Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you are coming across a bad pull header blue screen error on your Windows tutorial. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in device manager. Best manager to go back with device manager here. You want to just go ahead and left click on that. Now you want to expand the network adapter section to so your double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Now go underneath whatever your main adapter is listed here and right click on it and then left click on update driver. Select Browse My Computer for Driver Software, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the Gigabit Network Connection on this list, and then select Next. Once you're done with that, select Close, close it here. I would also suggest opening up the Star Menu, type in File Explorer. Best match to go back with File Explorer. Go ahead and left click on that. Select this PC on the left side and then go underneath whatever drive Windows is installed on. There should be a little Windows icon above the hard drive logo. And you want to right click on it. Select Properties. Select the Tools tab and then underneath Error Checking, this option will check the drive for file system errors. Select Check. Select the scan drive. Should say your drive is successfully scanned. If there were any errors found, I would suggest resolving them so you might have to restart your computer. Close out of here. Close out of here as well. Open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan.
Okay, so if you found any corrupt files, I would suggest closing out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully your issue should be resolved. You can also try System Restore as well if you have any restore points saved in your computer. Just putting another ID out there to hopefully resolve your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.